Despite Soludo's plea, sits at home protest grounds major places in Enugu, Ebony, Imo, Abia, and Anambra. The governor of Anambra State, you will call. Professor Charles Soludo, while addressing market leaders and relevant authorities at Dora the Women Development Center, Oka, two days ago, stated that with effect from Monday, April 4, 2022, all markets, schools, banks, and motor parks around the state will resume normal activities every Mondays. According to him, security agencies shall be mobilized, armed forces and informal security organizations shall take charge to ensure lives and properties are protected. According to Mr. Governor, with the Monday city at home exercise, the Southeast economy is gradually sinking. When you bulk activities in Anambra and normal activities are going on in other states, the person or persons you want to show your anger is not actually feeling what you are doing. You are only destroying your home. The, there are proper ways to express agitations than to engage in activities that will destroy our home. Many businesses and investors are relocating to Asaba and other places. This is killing our economy and we cannot afford to continue that way. This governor, I think, it seems they think that um, they love the southeast more than the residents of, this, of the zone. The governors of the South is an irony. It's an irony that the governors of the South is they think that they love the South East more than the residents. The South Easterners, even those who are not home, those who are abroad, those who are in overseas. I mean the governors think that they love the zone more than those who are in overseas. Sometimes they will they will say, because you are not in Nigeria, that's why people are saying, I mean sit at home should continue in the South East. Because they're not in Nigeria, they're not in the Southeast. And some people say, because they're not in the Southeast, you may be in Nigeria, but because you're not in the Southeast, uh, that's why you want the city at home to continue, because your business is not affected. And uh, when and those in the Southeast, in particular, also, uh, the government think that they love the Southeast more than them. It is not true. You don't love the Southeast more than the Southeasterners. Both those who are residing in the zone, both those who are in Nigeria but not in, this, in the zone, but they are in other zones like uh, the southwest and the northern Nigeria or the south southern Nigeria. And even those who are abroad, who are outside the country, but they are from the southeast, they love their states, they love their region, they love the, the, the southeast, the southeastern region. They love it so much, more than these governors, because that is their home. That's their home. Some of them don't have any house in abroad. They're just tenants over there. But these governors have houses over there and abroad, in foreign lands. So their families are also there. So these people the, who are abroad, these uh, Southeasterners who are overseas, they have, most of them have their families at home in the Southeast. So why would they want the Southeast to be in trouble? So why would they want the Southeast to burn or to be raised down? Their mothers, their fathers, their siblings, most of them are down there. But you as the governor, your families are outside there. Immediately you finish your tenure as a governor, you and your wife, hmm, firm, you will travel abroad and you will stay there. So, why are we not talking about it? It is obvious. The South Easterners love their states, they love their region. You are losing billions of dollars because of sitting at home. Yes, that is sacrifice. That sacrifice, our parents sacrificed their lives from the 1967 to 1970 civil war. But the Nigerian government waged against them. They know, saw that they, that war was inevitable for them to protect their integrity, their dignity, their lives, their properties, and even their future. And they have to stand and defend themselves. Because the Biafrans were defending themselves. The Nigerian government invaded Biafrans. They invaded the young republic. And the young public have nothing to do than to defend themselves. And in doing that, it cost them millions of lives, billions of dollars in assets. Yes. And today, somebody is talking about um, um, the South East is losing dollars and all that in the city at home. Can you quantify it with what happened during the Civil War? The loss. But today, look at the South East. Aside from government presence, the South East price itself 
as the most developed city cities in the country aside the government presence even without the government presence from self-help South Easterners have done a lot in road construction, electricity, building infrastructure, personal houses, you know, recreational centers, hospitality centers, name it, airports, self-help without government support, even the state government support, because state government have no money. Yes, the idea of South East, how much is it to come up with Lagos and other states in Nigeria? Because the South East has been marginalized. So these governors don't know that whatever they think they want to achieve in the South East, they have limitations. And that limitations is what the Biafrans, the agitators, have seen and they are trying to bridge it. The South East government have limitations. There are level they will not reach because of their limitations. And so, what, how much is the IGR in the first place? The zone is completely. You know, no people, no, no foreigners. I mean, when I mean foreigners, I mean, I mean people who are coming from elsewhere around Africa, coming to South East. Nobody is coming to South East. What is, what is here? Nothing. Even our fellow Nigerians, how many of them are here in the South East? So what are they coming here to do? The federal government presence is not here. They have systematically excluded the South East. If you come to the South East, 95% of residents in the zone are the people from the South East. More than 95% of the residents in the South East are from the region. So, but if you go outside other places, you will notice that outside the indigenous people of that location, the people who are higher in number is the South Easterners. Outside the indigenous people of that location, the South Easterners are the second in terms of population. Because of what? Their region is underdeveloped. 